And as we head over to Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell, six miles below the ocean floor, that place has to be nice and cool, which we could all use this weekend. Yes, that, that is definitely the case, and we could definitely use any sort of cool down that we can get. Unfortunately, Casey, the heat is going to continue to be the story, and the coolest part of the day will come in the morning hours, right before sunrise, where we'll have morning lows into the 60s. Tonight, we've had some clouds pass through the area. It made for a nice sunset this evening. Those clouds are still lingering around over East Texas now. Temperatures, though, are cool. Now the cloud cover will act as a blanket, which is why we'll see temperatures a little bit warmer than the last few mornings. We're in the mid and the low 70s. We have Henderson though already at 69, 73 in Lufkin, 75 in Tyler, Gilmer at 71, Palestine at a temperature of 74 degrees. With these clouds around, they're not capable of producing any precipitation, but we are going to see more sun, even though we have the clouds with us for tomorrow. Let's track those temperatures. Yeah, you'll probably want to be just like the dog there taking in some water tomorrow. We're going to need it. It is going to be a warm day. Temperatures in the afternoon, lower 90s. We will have a light northeast wind, which will help keep the humidity low. But as I've talked about the last couple of days, it is going to continue to feel like the actual air temperature that we see come our way in the afternoon. Now we are not to the start of uh, astronomical summer just yet. That is not until next Saturday, the 20th, but it's always so important to make sure that we are reminded of just how warm it is on the inside of a car when it's 95 degrees outside, which we're on track for that on Sunday, just 10 minutes in the car without any AC running. That car temperature is up to about 115 degrees. You add another 20 minutes or so and that car temperature gets up to about 130. This is a very dangerous high level and 60 minutes close to almost 140 degrees inside a car. I show you this just to show just how much humidity can occur inside of an enclosed area. And thankfully, we don't have to deal with much humidity just yet. Those temperatures over the weekend, as far as the feels like temperature, right around the air temperature. That was Saturday. Here's Sunday. It's into the lower and the mid 90s. Monday, though, that's when the Gulf moisture begins to pick up and our heat index values on Monday, mid and upper 90s, which means next week we're on track to see those heat indices closer and closer to the century mark. So warmer, more humid, hotter days. They're all building in over the next seven. So the next two days are probably the best that we have over the next seven days. 93 tomorrow, 95 on Sunday, 95 on Monday, and then there's next week looking between about 96 to 97 degrees. We'll have some clouds at times, but overall it's the heat that's driving things and not finding much rain chance at this point. Deep East Texas also 93 to 94 over the weekend. You too will heat up a bit more as we head into next week. Whew. All right, Marcus, thank you. Okay.